Hey everyone, one about here, and welcome to Shadow Gambit, the Cursed Crew. It is made by Minimi, the people that made Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun, and Desperados 3, two of my favorite games I've ever played, just because they're so unique. There are not a whole lot of, like, kind of top-down infiltration games, and uh, Minimi has proven themselves to be absolute masters of the genre, and also kings of it, and also possibly generally the only people there. But that's fine. So this is Angler's Grave. Charming little rat hole. Let's find the bar and make a deal before the Inquisition shows up. Oh, so we just we just have our cutlass sticking out of us the whole time. Straight I'm assuming we point. wield it. <laughs> okay, mouse camera. We'll put the oh. brine swept in. Glad they don't mind the cursed. Okay, so <laughs> her being partly undead, fully undead, not an issue. Okay, I'll hold left soon. mouse, got it. You can open your mission log by pressing B at any time. Check your current objectives. Select an objective. All right, meet the jester. All right, so if I click on this, we can just tell her to go here. All right, this is neat. Seems a little bit more open world here. Oh, look at this top-down view. Yeah, I I loved Blades, uh, Blades of the Shogun. I thought that was a fantastic Welcome game, and I liked the story for it. I didn't like the story as much for Desperados, but the gameplay was vastly improved, in my opinion. Still very familiar, but the uh, the tactical depth had improved. This one already has... Like, the environments feel a lot better. Long, There's a lot more color. And then also, there aren't a whole lot of pirate games nowadays. They, they kind of dipped off for a while, and so ah, I think it's kind of due for a good comeback. Heard. And that looks like He's on the maybe the jester. I like it already. Okay, so there's still no interiors, but that's fine. But yeah, we're actually talking to characters out in the world. That's interesting. It's almost more CRPG-ish. Which is somebody that's been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, very appreciated. You are not an easy man to find, Jester. Naturalmente. It ensures I'm only found by interesting people. Now, what can I do for you, Signora Manicato? They say you can arrange things. There's a certain ghost ship I'd like to catch up with. Ah, the Red Marley, yes. I know all about your history with that ship. Then you also know why I'd want to be on it. Signora... The prospect of seeing your fates collide is the entire reason for our meeting. I can get you to the Marley, but I must inform you that she has seen better days. Currently, she's caught in the trap of a certain Inquisitor. So Ignatia has her. Then there's no time to lose. Hmm, still determined, I see. Yes, excellent. Shall we shake on it, then? One more question. What will be your price? Oh, don't worry, Signora. I simply wish to be... entertained. Now, shall we begin? Gosh, the voice acting on this is so freaking good. Like, I don't know. I, how do I describe it? I'm not used to hearing thick accents of such a variety right from the get-go in a video game. Usually it's kind of bland and understandable. Usually quite good, but not quite as varied as this right from right from the start. And I want to hear more. The right is complete. Chatty. What now? Scour the beach. Let no corruption linger. It shall be done. Obviously, elements of this are pretty familiar. These characters seem much more like Spanish conquistadors. I don't know if it's going to be set in, like, kind of our reality, though, or if it's going to be 
a little bit more unique. I mean, that mask is certainly new, and the hat is uh, hilariously tall. And then, of course, we have the Cursed. But, you know, it could be like um, a Pirates of the Caribbean, which is ostensibly set in our world that just has pirate what? magic. Abominations! Apologies, but as you well know, death's not the end here. So, one down, possibly a hundred or more to go. I better find my way to the Mali before Ignatia sets her on fire. Okay, do we have anything else? Huh. Nope. According to the stars, this island isn't too far from Angler's Grave. I like these odds. Okay, Afia can kill the enemies with her dagger. A okay, so a melee skill. Another is... acolyte. Best take him down quietly. Death's not the end, eh? Okay, so we have a dagger. Is that not our sword? No, it's not. Okay, the sword's slightly different. Okay, hold left well, mouse well. button. Let's get you somewhere else. And then drop them in the murder bush. As as you do. Hiding bodies. Alright, already did that. Out of sight, out of mind. I'll be there soon. Okay, switch stance with space. Yeah, if you want to do the stealth stance. Okay, view cone is a representation of what a guard can see. If a guard can see a crewmate, view cone is okay. And another. Always a pleasure running into the Inquisition. I let's send them on their way. Now I forget. <laughs> you used to be able to like press a button, uh like hold control, I think it was, while you're killing an enemy to specifically grab their corpse. It looks like that's not the case here, um, but maybe I just haven't found it yet. It does seem like you can immediately say like, "Hey, uh." Always move forward. Oh, and we also have a fast forward button. That's an int that's interesting. I wonder if we have the timeline as much. At night, view cones have dark stripe part that you can safely traverse while crouched. Be aware of light, as it'll reveal any crewmates hiding oh, in the darkness. Maiden's fire lamp. Can't yep. snuff it out. Best keep low and avoid its light. Now yeah, so we can just keep way. sneaking through. On one hand, I kind of uh, wish there was a like, how many how many of our games have you played before? Uh, tutorial that. option. But on the flip side, they a did change a dagger. bunch. Er, we have the dagger. There we go. Heavy. Straight to the point. <laughs> okay. Other thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna turn the music up. It's a little quiet. Do like 85. I want to be able to hear what the characters are saying. Unfortunately, we're going to be hearing a lot of their like mid run chatter because there's no separate sound slider for that. Afia can charge enemies with her blink skill S or left mouse to blink to target enemy. Seems like yep. the only way forward is up. So we straight up have a teleport stab. No second thoughts, eh? Let's get you somewhere okay. else. And no as always, the hide mind. the bodies. This better not Man. Be it's unlikely to ever happen, but I would love for Minimi to specifically, uh... Well, well. I would love for Minimi specifically to do a Dishonored game? Or even a Metal Gear Solid game. I, I think their original products are probably going to be better, but I'd love to see what they could do in that space. The other one would be like, I would love to see them do uh, something a little bit more... Oh, hello. Hmm. Did something... Nah. I think that was a checkpoint. I like these odds. Uh, but I'd love to see them tackle kind of more like a space that western one looks vibe. Powerful. Best not leave him alive. Like, all okay, here. let's take a look now at his view cone. I think we're fine. I could try and do a telestab. It doesn't seem like we have a limitation. From here to there. What do we have here? I sense your ill intent, cursed. Now burn in maiden's fire. No. Oh, I suggest you try that again. Yep, checkpoints. I'm whole again. I have unleashed a memory. I have given you another chance. What crazy magic is this? Are you I need your help. Get past the prognostica. Do not attack him directly. 
Well, well. All right, I'll follow. As for the prognostica, let's try a different approach. Yeah, you space like pirates or like, uh, okay, capture memory at any time by pressing F5, unleash it. Okay, so we can save and reload. So oh, right. This is what I felt they don't do a whole lot of timeline scrubbing. It's really just when you're trying to set up if a... It, time resets to this moment. That acolyte on the scaffold is my way up. The prognostic arm might be able to stop me, but that boulder? Heave ho! Okay, so let's toss the body into the ocean. As you do, there will be no corpses left behind for anybody else to clean up or loot. So H for highlight. I wonder if it just stays highlighted. No, it doesn't seem like it. Wow. The path is clear. Proceed onward and ascend. I wish to see you face to face. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, push rock, objective completed. I wonder if there's other ways to kill that guy. Probably not with my current setup. Aphia can freeze a single target in time with her time freeze skill. D or left mouse to select it. Then target the guard. Guards frozen in time are blind and deaf to their surroundings. The is being watched. Don't worry. I have my own tricks up my sleeve. See? A nice bit of time tinkering. I like Very it. impressive. Now please, push onward. And it's on a cooldown. Now, it I doesn't look like there's Ignatia any limitations. A pirate ship here. Ignatia, yes. As a matter of fact, she... <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, Never mind that. For. Send the ruins. Come to me. Ah. Hello? You still there? Well, well. Better move fast. Okay. Straight to the point. <laughs> so we're just going to sneak around this guy. I have a propensity to more or less eliminate every single no person I possibly thoughts. can. Okay, we're going to have to wait until this person turns around, though. From here or alternatively... There. I guess I should quick save just in case. As a nice looking quick save, I kind of wish I could uh, turn off the animation or if it would get quicker. I'll be there soon. Ah! As we go along. Anyway, yeah, I have a, I have kind of a That's bad habit of so killing nice. as many uh, enemies as I possibly can in these because well, well. I'm a little sloppy and the less enemies that we have to deal with, the better. Uh, and also it makes the levels look nice and clean. Ah. But yeah, I was going to say, like, a, a really space westerny vibe could actually be really cool for this game. Okay, so they're not looking anywhere, and they can't spot this guy. It's, it's not always going to be this easy. First level is very much just a tutorial, and not that hard. Let's Though, Shadow Tactics, I remember the first level actually being a bit of a challenge. Okay, Consider well. Consider it done. Free. All things considered, yeah, we're just I'm just gonna use all of my abilities as much as I possibly can. I wonder if ammunition is gonna be the one limited thing that we're gonna have to worry about. Interesting. There's a a water route. Yeah, if you just wanna swim. A sword through the heart. I could do that. Now we're getting somewhere. But yeah, we're just gonna Let's just chuck them into the bushes from here. I was kind of hoping I could throw them in. Excuse me? Oh, I right. Like I have to dogs. click and hold. They've changed that, but honestly, I think this is going to be easier to control. I wonder if they change the, uh, the, the interaction and the mechanics. Fire breaks. Ah, there she is. The Red Marty. Black Eye Mordecai's ship. And there's Ignatia right on cue. My custodies are ready, ship. A world of agony awaits you. Now tell me, what is the answer to Mordecai's riddle? Ah, Ignatia. Even in death, the captain outwits you. Oh? Then why do I hold his message so clearly intended for you? Now speak! Five of Marley's crew assemble. That much is clear. But what are the relics? What secret lies hidden beneath your deck? I would rather burn than help you find the treasure. Have it your way, ship. Ah! Ah! 
Your flagship has been prepared, my Lady Inquisitor. Good. Begin the rite of questioning. I must know what the ship knows. As you command, my lady. Send word among the timeless shores. We must find the relics and solve Mordecai's riddle. His treasure will be ours. And if the shores must burn for it, then it is part of the grand design. I really love this. Because, unfortunately, my issue with Desperado's... Still there, little soul. I am. And it seems I came just in the nick of time, Red Miley. You know my name. Care to tell me yours? All in good time. First, let's set you free. Come to me. Use the giant chains to get on board. Then I will tell you more. Alright, so what was I going to say? Straight to the point. I really liked the That's gameplay from the end, eh? Uh I really liked the gameplay from Desperados, but the story was just kind of okay. I think you had to play Desperados 1 and 2 for it to really hit. Shadow Tactics was good, it had a very good hook and carried itself very well. But I don't know, Feudal Japan I've just seen like a billion times in various media sources, and so it's kind of one of those where it's like, it's nice, but it doesn't spark my imagination much. From time to time, a big green bell appears on screen, reminding you to save. Uh, no the game does not thoughts, eh? auto save How for you. How did Ignatia capture you? She surprised me. Some strange new right of hers. She has experience in subverting my power, but not for long. I'll be there soon. Where's this? Your memory power explains a lot. No wonder Mordecai and his crew became legends. We kept it secret for that very reason. Does it have any limits? Mm -hmm. Only those set in place by the captain. My reach is the size of an island. And I can't unleash memories older than a day. I'll gladly explain more once I'm in less pain. Okay, so I'm going to try something. Put the range on well, well. this. Okay, perfect. Being able to free somebody is going to be so unbelievably powerful. Okay, so this guy's going to go around. There's no distance. I'm going to quick save. Through the below. All right. Heavy. Hopefully we can drop the body off really quick and we're good. I don't actually need to kill all these guys, and like these ones here, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach at all. But frankly, we've cleared out most of the camp and can explore to our leisure. Uh, but yeah, so this is definitely kind of a take on the Pirates of the Caribbean like it, setting. Uh, Let's get you but for the most part, like it seems to have kind of an alternate, alternate Spanish Inquisition with a lot more magic to it. And for me, that's kind of neat, Straight because it the means point. they can go anywhere with this and not be particularly constrained to, How like, real-world terms. I will do it myself. All you must do is break Ignatius' seal. Okay, well, I'm supposed well. to use the chains to get on, but how? Oh, we're going around this way. Hey, Pete, look! Fresh meat on deck. <laughs> Fresh? Looks rather rotten to me. I'll ignore them. Head for the captain's quarters. Mine. The flame is focused. Lorenzo 47 first Heavy. I okay. A most Always Toss that. This guy might get curious, which is my one worry. And yeah, it's telling me a quick save. That's fair. I'm honing in. Yeah, so the one thing is the telestab is a lot louder, so I'm going to have to worry Let's about that. I think it's a lot louder. We're all here. Yes, it is a lot louder. So it's like the thrown dagger from, um... I like these odds. Let's see, it's You're a lot like the thrown dagger from the, the previous games. On maps in concentration and the fire breaks free. I shall stay well clear, Commissarius. Wants me to... 
attack them. Okay. Power of Custodes is used to keep tears to the below closed. If they're attacked, they will lose the grip on the right, and the energy released will turn all guards in range catatonic. However, catatonic guards and dead custodies will not trigger the alarm. Ugh, is that a custodies? He is maintaining the seal. Disrupt. Okay. His chant. Always move forward. Oh, a little death bringer. Ugh. Okay. Gives me shivers. Nope. Do Drop that. We just need to kill. They are but vessels for the maiden's fire. There is another on board. Find him. We need to make sure they're all dead first. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, I really like this. Get you somewhere else. All the tactical Yee depth ho. in terms of like uh catching enemies unawares, but trapping them effectively. The order. Okay, so let's see. What else do we have? So we've got this guy patrolling, this guy here. I'm gonna have to watch out for what this guy does first. Hopefully he can't see me up here. We might have to back off. What can this guy see? In the name so no, of he can't see anything name, up above. Mother of flame, we judge you. So I think actually what I want to do Consider it done. is go over here. We want to kill this guy as soon as he's out this direction. Can't. Hold it right there. My body fades. <clears throat> let's get you somewhere else. Okay, so let's let's get this guy out of here. Luckily, none of them are looking for their fellows. Well, well. Sometimes they'll go looking and see say like, oh, you know, where'd Stu go? In this case, no, no such issue. I'm sure that'll turn up in later sections. So there's the next Custodes with three different people. Sorry state. I oh, but this guy might not be within range. The crew is what matters. Where did you take them? Two are still on board. Five were taken to shore. We will rescue them soon. Straight to the point. <laughs> okay, in retrospect, this is lower area is probably not important to me. Let's get around. Take out the upper... Oh, we know he's going up and down. So I might actually be able to take out three at once. And then we can come back for the other guy. I just have to get into this ficus. Okay, it's a good time for a quick save. Let the other custodies and your two remaining crew, Sue Lady and Toya, leave them be for now. Oh. Yeah, they're. They're currently in a state of death. All right, let's try that. A blade in the dark. I like these odds. Okay. Ugh, that's Kill. both of them. Yes, the seal is Kill. weak. Come to me. Let's unshackle your sword. Okay, I don't know where the. Heavy. No, don't pick him up. Help each other. A blade in the dark. I'm honing in. Okay. How long do they stay stunned for? Seemingly for a long time. Okay, so there's definitely a way when stabbing a person to automatically pick them up faster than I had uh I was. Maybe it's just the clicking and holding. Okay. But one way or another we're gonna get rid of all of these. Just in case. Actually, not even just in case. At uh, we're going to be going here next for whatever reason. And that means uh, more enemies are going to show up. And so if there's a bunch of corpses lying around, there's a very real possibility. They're going to immediately throw into an alert and find me. But if all of the bodies are gone, they might not. I don't know. I, I don't actually know if this is the case. But we are most assuredly going to be sneaking through parts of this game. Straight to the point. Plus also the, the bush god needs to be fed. I one of my favorite aspects of this game is the fact that there is effectively a dark deity, uh, an unspoken dark deity that is a bush that endlessly hungers for human flesh. Any body I throw into any of these bushes or piles of paper instantly disappears forever. 
cannot be found again from my from what I know. And so it's one of those that uh, there's got to be some eldritch entity living in all of these bushes, or just every bush is bloodthirsty for the dead. Uh, and I sincerely hope at some point we get an acknowledgement of that in one of these I games. Like and it might be this one. It might not be. Forge a contract. I guess we're the captain now. Now Sorry. break the seal. Set me free. First, we have to discuss terms. Really? Now? You are hunting Black Eye Mordecai's treasure. I want in. The captain's hoard. What is it to you? What is a treasure to a pirate, eh? Adventure. Gold. A chance to beat the Inquisition. I'll help you find your captain's legacy. And I only want three shares of the plunder. Preposterous. Half a share. Two and a half. One. Two shares. Hurry now. I bet more acolytes are coming. Fine. I accept your terms. Now break that seal and state your name. A fia monicato. At your service. I wonder if this ship is possessed by like a demon instead, which is why it wants the money. You know, the more more horrid it accrues, the more powerful it becomes. My strength is restored. Now we make for the open sea. Brace yourself. No, maybe I'm not going through those side areas. It just looked like there were a lot of bushes and stuff to sneak around, but no, it looks like we're good. All right, finish the mission and finish any mission with this crewmate on all islands. Interesting. Hey, what's up? What's the deal with this entire area? Oh, could I have gone through the jungle instead? It looks like I might have been able to, actually. Maybe. Cool. Okay, kills, deaths one, time 14 minutes, yeah. Okay, you can choose between four difficulties or create your own custom one. You can adjust it before you start a mission and change different parameters. Customizable difficulty. Ooh, I like that. Ah, to be on the open sea again. Come to me when you are ready, Aphia. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so let's look around, because we might have some party members to interact with. Yeah, first day on the job, converse, converse with Marley. Where to, navigator? Okay, so interesting. So we actually have kind of a hub that well we can interact away. with. Oh, vigor level. Vigor tokens, gr grand blink. Which is increased range and is not restricted by line of sight. Ah, but it has limited uses. Still, that's cool. Okay, is there anything else? I just want to see what I can interact I like with. These odds. Okay, so we also have a flintlock pistol. It is loud and has limited ammunition. Straight to the point. <laughs> oh, I see. I can turn lamps on and off. I just want to see what I can interact with here. Because it, it seems like this is kind of our hub base to interact with characters. Um... Uh, you know, spend time with them, talk to them, get get some lore, maybe? Revive. Info. Oya Toy of Iga. Chip's cook. He prepares tasty, soul-infused meals for the crew. Toy is a master in the arts of battle and cooking, always eager to challenge himself in the ki kitchen and in the field. He also makes a mean octopus carpaccio. Leave behind a small humanoid paper charm called a Kashiro that only he can see. Teleports back to the Kashiro from any distance and attack and kill the enemy marked by the Kishiro. Okay, so has kind of like a teletrap stab and then can whistle like a bird to draw people in. So it's like the uh, the girl uh, from Shadow Tactics. I unfortunately don't remember any names, but that's fine. Can climb ivies, can swim. Neat. I'll be there soon. Unfortunately, I don't think we can revive either yet. Ready. So maybe if we just talk to the Red Marley, then we can. So the ship's doctor, she takes care of the Marley skeleton crew, makes for uh, makes cures for nasty soul sicknesses. She's also deadly with the blade. The soul-infused plants Suliti grows in her sickbay help her research the mysteries of the curse. 
cover, uh, cover seeds, throw a vial to grow a very handy bush somewhere in her vicinity. Perfect for hiding in an open space. Oh, that's useful. And wander dust. This foul odor will daze the hardiest Inquisition soldiers. The strange spores make enemies walk away from her in a straight line. All right. Useful. And being able to just summon a bush whenever and wherever I want seems really cool. It's probably limited uses. All right, ship. What's our next move? Five of my crew are still on Moro's reach. I will not leave them behind. I like a challenge, but those were a lot of acolytes. We could use a little backup. My skeleton crew cannot wander on shore. What we need is another cursed. Suleidi and Toya were left on deck. Black pearls ripped from their chest. They'll need new ones. Talk to old Gertrude, and also to Pete and the Nameless One. I'll scrape together what soul energy I have left for the ceremony. Black pearls. A rare sight these days. Aye. Which is why we keep them well hidden. Don't let my talking day call scare you. They are mostly harmless. Okay. Oh, it's middle click. If I want to specifically pan the camera around. I knew I was I, I knew it was a button that I'd be able to press to be able to pan the camera without having to have it on the e ends. Middle click ain't bad. So I assume the black pearls are how we get our characters back. Maybe. Ah! Mordecai! You finally returned. Sorry, but I'm not Mordecai. The name's Ethia Manicato. Freshly hired. <laughs> You always knew how to get a chuckle out of this old lady. I don't think you heard me. I'm... Just play along. Yes, I'm Mordecai. I'm here for the Black Pearl. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Here you go. I've stored it in my right eye. Freshly plucked from the socket, if you will. That was... interesting. As I said, mostly harmless. I like it already. Oh, wow. She traversed... Oh, did we use a door to traverse the boat much faster? We did. I was like, why is she so fast? How did she manage to cross the boat that f that quickly? I really also like the... Hey, Pete, look. It's her again. The one with the curly toes. Excuse me? Oh, ignore him. His forehead isn't quite where it used to be. Now, what's your name? I'm Aphia. The Marley sent me for a black pearl. Did she now? <laughs> well, I'm sure to tell you that it's gone. Pete, nameless, hand her the pearl or I will throw you overboard. As if. <laughs> we didn't really want it anyway. Take it, Aphia, before we accidentally lose it again. Yeah, that one's now held together despite the fact that it's I barely broken. have enough energy for one ceremony, so you must choose who to revive. Okay, revive dead crewmates. If you have a black pearl and soul energy to uh, to charge it, to revive a crewmate, interact with them. I think I'm Always still. Ugh, do we want the telestab or do we want bushes? Dude, that's tough. I'm sure we'll get the opportunity to get all of them. I'm a big fan no of second thoughts, birds. Eh? The production value on this is just so much higher, too. They, they really outdid themselves with this. Oh, I'm shooting him with a black pearl. Another black pearl in my chest. A feast of energy for my soul. Much obliged. So, you're Toya of the East. Just Toya, if you please. This ocean has been my home for longer than I ever lived in Japan. You're the assassin who challenged the Dread Captain and became the ship's cook. You seem to know a lot about me when I don't even know your name. A fia monicato. I'm the one who pulled you out of Ignatius' jars. Hmm. A promising start. I look forward to seeing you work, Ephia monicato. 
Welcome back, shit cook. Ah, Marty. So I was the one to receive one of your spares. A wise choice. You must get used to your new pearl quickly. The training deck is ready for you. Understood. I will speak to Estelle and head there at once. Okay, before you take a new crewmate on a mission, train with them. Nah. Death's not the end, eh? Well, I suppose I have to start ah. it. Oops. I don't actually care to do... Oh, we can actually talk to them as well. Uh, I don't care to do tutorialization. I'll figure them out pretty yes. quick. So we can banter with them. I really like this. Toya, may I ask? What brought you to the Marley? The cooking contest. Ah, on this ship? What? No, back on Soulspire. I'd been there for some time after I lost my crew and captain at Madre Grande. I was cooking just for myself, perfecting my technique. I was focusing on winning the annual cooking contest at Bonnie's Galley. Then Mordecai comes along. Cocky. Throwing out challenges left and right. He said. If he beat me in this year's contest, I had to join his crew. And? Did he win? He came in last. <laughs> I had never seen such horrendous cooking. I knew then that if I did not join his crew, they'd have to endure his culinary travesties. <laughs> you should have given him lessons, too. I tried. But his lack of talent was a challenge too steep, even for me. I'll be there soon. Little okay. death bringer. Eh. I'm so used to pressing WASD to pan around. No second thoughts, eh? At the monkey? I guess you can't pet the monkey, but you can, banana. Animations are a little on the awkward side. I think it would just treasures the banana and then puts it in its question mark. All right, I like so let's... It already. Main story. Oh, need to switch to Toya for this one. Balanced to oh. perfection. I guess. Move with speed. You can swap characters and talk to other things. That's cool. Ship cook. It's good to feel the warmth of your kitchen again. Likewise, though I noticed our larders are woefully empty. I'm afraid Ignatius' lackeys have burned most of our unholy provisions. Cooking without ingredients is like heading into battle without a blade. The skeletons will restock supplies in time. Meanwhile, you could see your limited options as a challenge. A challenge, you say? I see. Most intriguing. A stew of figurehead moss. Fried barnacles from the bow. A red soup wrung from your oily sails. Now that I hear you describe it, I'm rather glad I don't have taste buds. Do not fear, Marley. Just as any fight can be won, so can any dish be made palatable with the right technique. I have never served anything but excellence to the skeletons. I would rather see them starve. Yokai! But maybe I don't have much of a choice but to do the training mission. Ahoy there, Estelle. I require your guidance to the training deck. <laughs> uh, apologies, but your banana cookies will have to wait. <laughs> Once my kitchen is restored, you will have your cookies. Now, down we go. <laughs> oh, there's a void in there. Okay. All skills have a non-lethal option. Even the gun? Okay, play bird's voice tutorial optional. 
if I don't want to, though? I think I can just quit, quit out of it. I like the fact that you can uh, learn how these characters work, but... Well I don't have done. That much time. Now we must make plans, Aphia Manicata. I like these odds. And at least his two abilities are super familiar to me. I'm glad to see Toya back on his feet. Alas, I can spare no more soul energy. We'll manage. Two cursed pirates are a force to be reckoned with. Speaking of, I was wondering what my position in the crew should be. That depends on your qualities, Aphia Manicato. Measured by your outrageous cut, you'd have to be the captain. And you are not the captain. All right. How about the navigator? I can find my way alone. Why would I need a navigator? I can lend a hand. Chart our course. Choose our landing. I've learned from the best. Interesting. Very well, navigator. Come to the map table in the captain's quarters. Interesting. The whispering in the background, to I the don't point. think... <laughs> I don't think the whispering in the background matches what she's saying. It's other stuff. I mean, it works. Like, this game is is a this. mood, and they've done a very good job this with it. This map will show every island we can visit. Right now, we are limited to Morrow's Reach. Chart a course there, Navigator. I wonder if this is going to be, like, a bigger, explorable map that we have multiple objectives we can complete on. Vigor Boost 3, Time of Day Sun, Duration Medium, Crew Size 2, Required Her. The ship needs a crew. Yeah, so it looks like there's different... Uh, we will have different missions on each of these islands. So I want to take a look at difficulty. There's pirate, legend, cursed, explorer, pirate. Um, ah, here we are. So enemy setups. So harder, health, detection speed, unlimited. Yeah, so we're just going to stay on regular, regular pirate for the time being. Uh, but I do like the fact that you can change it. So if you want to have like... Really weak, but lots of enemies, uh, or at least the harder setup. Uh, it is very much an option. Reach. So, how did I fare on my first assignment? Your map pointing is very accurate, Navigator. Now, to the task at hand. You two will land by boat and rescue the crew. Their corpses are being put through the rite of punishment. Ah, yes. Standard Inquisition hospitality. They can still be revived. But we must save their bodies from the Maiden's fire. Before that, though, we must find ourselves an exit. We won't return by boat. Unnecessary. All we need is a tear into the below. One of them has appeared near the crew. A custodian is keeping it sealed. Take him out, and I will summon an exit. Once that is done, we'll discuss further plans. Now, give me a moment to choose your landing. That sounds suspiciously like your navigator's job. Ah, very well. Choose our landing, navigator. That's interesting. Before a mission begins, you can choose your starting location. Select any available landing spot. Oh, that's really cool. Unfortunately, there is literally only one at the moment. Okay, so we also get to... Naturally. Use our party, we have her no matter what, and this will get us some amount of full juice. What an absolutely stylish game. Okay, can I get both of them? Ah, I see. The boat disappears. Like I said, you won't need it. I believe this is the moment where I admit that I can't swim. Do not worry. Your inadequacy will be balanced by my formidable swimming skills. And by me letting that rope ladder down. Much appreciated. Okay, so I have no choice. So what do we what do we have? I'm going in. We trapped it once. We can trap it again. Alright, so I can also mark a spot if I want to. So we've got melee kill, Shiro, uh. Katashiro, we've got the bird's voice, pistol, it? it's all and then go back. The Inquisitor held up something, a shape. It spoke with her voice, and the ship screamed. 
the expect a heavy customer. Okay. Hey. Oh. Might be heavy, but let's see. Sadly, I don't seem to be able to. Let's see. I don't seem to be able to chuck him over the edge, so I guess that body's just gonna wait there. It's fine. Crab. A ladder just for non-swimmers, as requested. Okay, select multiple. Ah, Ever right now, select both. No, but I can swim with one arm and no meat on my bones. Well, I prefer to be dry. Okay, so neither of these two are looking. We can get over here. Now we have a highlight. When she returns. What reason does she have to return? The ship is gone, and those at fault have been In a moment. Ah, here we go. So this is how we queue up an, an attack. I'm sure that's what this is going to be. Yeah, shift to enter shadow mode. During shadow mode, game is paused, and you can plan one action per crewmate. Once you're done, enter to instantly execute all actions. Shift to leave it and execute uh -huh. it later. More time trickery. Aye, a useful tool for the tactician's mind. We can act in sync and strike together. Alright, so nice and familiar. Okay. And then execute. Okay, toss that. Raise with your legs. Yeah, so maybe it's when I press and hold. Quickly. Uh, when I press and hold the kill option, that's when I pick them up. Which, oh, I guess we are still carrying a character. Guards can see better during the day, which makes it impossible to hide in a crouched view, view cone. However, some objects like bushes or fences are high enough to obscure. A heavy customer. Oh, I got the so tired. Okay. A memory for the Mari's hold. All in one motion. Yeah, so I think if I press and hold this. <clears throat> a taste of raise with I'm, your legs. That's gotta be I follow the plan. Let's see. Tomoni the trap is set. just gonna put it there. Uh that's gotta be like the click and holds and stuff like that. Either they've changed it for usability reasons, or I bet it's for controllers. Is my bet. Hmm. Traditional. That's a really cool uh, thing. A long animation, though. I'll keep that in mind. But other otherwise, we're fine. All right. Our I don't know if we clear. have too much, and this guy's pretty specific. Oh, I can mark a point and see what a person has, uh, like what their view cone is. It will be done. I am the blade. <laughs> Impressive. Raise with your legs. Okay, there we go. From the stand, a refined decision. Must be recorded in scripture. Yeah, so let's try this. Are we going to pick up this guy? We are. The dish takes shape. We will do our best, Commissarius. There's the right, custodies so you mentioned. So he's been put there to contain the tear. The Inquisition seeks to seal all tears into the below. A futile task, of course. Thanks to the curse of lost souls. I think they relish futile tasks. A good starter. Okay, so at no Damn point does anybody curse. see this. Why must a tear appear now? The custodies is keeping it closed at least. Let's save. The Mali remember us. Good taste. Yes. Nobody's looking at this guy. Short and swift. Raise with your legs. Please, least to my knowledge. Fire. Okay, it the hat is gone. Sacred Earth, where is anybody looking at this guy? Remain. He is. And he is. Okay, so we You're we can't just High time we got rid of this abominable crew. And what else do we have around here? Oh. I don't actually have much of a reason to go after these guys. A treasure clue hidden among ruins. Mordecai was a romantic. Ah, that he was. We followed an unending list of clues to find this island. And as usual, Ignatia is a thorn in our side. 
Is it true? She's the one who burned Mordecai's soul? Aye. She has taken the captain from us. But she will take no more. The treasure is meant for us. And we will pry it from her scorched hand. All right. For the captain. For the captain. Look at that crane. I'd say that's an accident waiting to happen. A sound plan, navigator. Watch out below. <laughs> I fail to see the purpose of this thing here. Let's not question the grand design. Okay, so is anybody looking at this guy ever? Move with speed. Nope. Recount Don't do that. Punishment. The lost soul will find its way. Well, no. Aye. Okay. Have you ever witnessed a custodes die? I hear the resulting flame is quite enrapturing. Oh. Let's get moving, eh? Okay, so this is a good time for her to get involved. Once rid of its pearl, must be ready to the stand and cleansed with oils. Move like water. What do we have here? Okay. We should be finished here by nightfall, if not sooner. We will do our best, Commissarius. This guy can hit everybody. We Remove just have to get rid of this dude. The cursed's particulars must be recorded in scripture. Lagatta. Now I'm quite curious. A I might actually. Mm. I must At your service. I like these odds. Okay, so we're we're just gonna be kind of patient here. Finally, the cursed must be brought to a fiery pit. Straight to the point. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna bring her Our over here. We got rid of this abominable crew. Oh, I still can't believe we can Now we're getting somewhere. Alright. If the lost soul flees the holy fire, I'm always it must be captured in a sacred urn where it shall remain. You are the heart. Okay. Let's just wait for him to go back. No second thoughts. Eh? I forgot about that other guy. Well, that didn't work. Uh, let's see. Time is our ally. Why must a tear appear now? The My soul is raised. Okay, so she's here. No second thoughts, eh? Finally, the cursed. Must be brought to a fiery pit. I like these hours. Before incineration. Alright. So this guy. High time we. Thank you for the back. Always move forward. Oh, I still can't believe we captured them. Heave ho. This guy isn't going to be able to see this one. There we go. If I knew I'd forgot something. I got distracted by the possibilities. Okay. Let's capture this moment in a sacred Where it shall remain. There we go. So let's continue shift. We are going to wait for him to get a little closer. Now. Let's get moving, eh? Preparation is key. Uh, let's see. Start killing that guy. We'll do an execute. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, is that all of them? Don't let the flame get you. And yeah, we do have a couple of people, but I think everyone here is dead. Let's get you somewhere else. Let's try a new heavy custom. Just in case anybody decides to come say hi. That's some spice. What do we have here? I sincerely doubt we're going to get any bonus objectives, but you never know. Or not bonus objectives, bonus enemies. But yeah, I'm just going to drop these off. Right, let's inspect the door, because we don't want to leave yet. Clearly. Oh-ho! Is that our exit? Aye. 
A link between the tear and myself, leading through the below. Another standard tool in our arsenal. So far, none of us got lost. Nobody will get lost today either. Now, rescue the crew and bring them through the gateway. Gael, John and Quentin are still in the area. Pinkus and Teresa have been brought here. No doubt because of some convoluted rite. Pull them from the fire and carry them to the exit. All the way, eh? Good exercise for the arms, Navigator. If you struggle, pay close attention to my technique. Don't worry. I'll pull my weight. Straight to the I'm point. Here. Let's not forget, yes? Let's see what's out there. Let's get you some I'm grace. always prepared. Okay. The the Drop people off. Returns to me. Hey. The shipwright is out of danger. Did I never notice this person here? Okay, so we can also see all of our other objectives. There are other people here. Opportunity cards. Well, well. But oh, are we throwing the? Oops. Balanced, a heavy customer. I'm going in. The cannoness is safe now. I think many of these are playable characters. What's in it for me? Okay, so first and qu first questions first. Anybody looking at this guy? Anyone hungry? Move like water. No, it doesn't Definitely look like it. Back. I like it all. Ah! I guess this guy might see. Let's get if I'm slow. Rest. But I'm not slow. Heavy. I toss him to the bush. So we've got a couple of. It's been a little while. I do like the reminders. Glad you have our backs. Oh. Consider it done. We have one more person. Look, Bush God must be fed. A question, Marty. Ignatia took five of us. Why was the lady and I left on deck? That's she fine. found yes. something here. A riddle that will lead to the captain's treasure. Apparently, it mentions five of Marley's crew. We will find this riddle ourselves, once the others are safe. Yeah, we gotta go around. Yeah, I should be able to sneak in I here, go across, and be good. And we do also have the... Oh, we have the water. Our objective is clear. I'm just going to have him swim around. I don't know how well obscured we are, but I can just put a trap. Because no one's looking out here. A good starter. Two in one. Ambush in the making. The dish takes shape. Okay, let's go over here. Be nice and safe. I guess I'm gonna get him out of the water. Just actually, no. Let's keep him in the water. I want to check. Move with speed. Raise with your legs. So super conveniently, I can use that from the water. Okay, so let's. Oh. Okay, he does sink. It just takes a little bit. Actually, no. You know what we've got? Oh, is this uh another landing point? Good taste. Is this anything I can interact with at the moment? The answer is no. You know, it's been a while. I think I'm gonna have to see if I can turn those off. Prepare for death. Who? What? Oh. A heavy customer. At your service. I like these odds. Yeah, it didn't work. A taste of tempered time. My soul is raised. Okay, so let's just bring her closer. What's this guy's view cone look like? Straight to the point. <laughs> Slice and dice. Alright. Grab. Grab. And execute. Anyone a heavy customer. Let's see what's out there. There we go. Let's so she kills slower. 
I like these odds. Useful to note. Let's try a new recipe. <laughs> I'd snag them. Now, where's the other two? Uh, heavy. I can't and I won't. Consider it done. That's not in my power. Okay. I don't think we need to hide anymore. Let's though we don't know where the other else. bodies of our crew are. I don't see any out this direction. I'll be there soon. Let's see. Ready uh, to start. Heavy. Let's get moving, eh? Or drop off. I there we go. The plan. A heavy customer. Where's our other objectives? At your service. I like it already. Oh. Cut through the shadows. No. Uh oh. Victory is not yet achieved. We didn't actually drop the bodies Raise off. In a moment. In the door, we just dropped them off. The quartermaster rejoins us. How long has it been? A heavy customer. There we go. We dropped them off next the to it. The sharpshooter is back on deck. Always move forward. <sighs> that was the last. Good. A relief. Now, let us seek the clue that the captain left behind. I spied ahead to the island's heart. A pair of kindred are conducting research there. Ignatius' personal agents. Suspicious, eh? Agreed. We must learn what they know. Take them down and scour their notes. Remember, though, the kindred souls have been conjoined with Maiden's Fire. Death cannot hold them as long as one remains standing. Aye. We take them down together, or not at all. I really like the constellation Lord magic Lord. that my uh, that the enemies use. I think that's such a cool visual and pretty unique. It's not that I haven't seen it before, but I haven't seen it often. Move like water. So let's just run up over here. I don't think. Oh, blood and silence. How did this guy never see me? Ah! Move with me. Raise with your legs. Not a clue. Let's get rid of them. A heavy customer. There seem to be challenges, like here? bonus challenges, uh, specifically ah. for uh, for hiding bodies. Up on the cliff. Easy prey if we strike together. I'm going. Aye. And how fortunate! Getting up there requires no swimming at all. Not letting that go, are we? All right. First question is, Time is moving fast. Nice. That's safe. A fine blend of okay, so this guy, what can he see? He can't see particularly nice well. Preparing the ingredients. So I'm going to bird song. What horrid thing made that noise? Strange. Whoa. <clears throat> ah, damn it. I didn't realize he'd have, Try like, again. That nice view cone. Hmm. Very trudgy. Oh, come on. Okay. A useful gift. What horrid thing made that noise? Alright. Move with me. Yeah, there was this little bit My right here. Raise with your legs. That I had missed. Okay, these two are going to be a problem and are gonna have to get finished off. Simultaneously, I guess let's save. Very sensible, Marley. Our objective is clear. I want to figure out where this guy ends up. I cannot lose. I'm curious if the Sufficient fog obscures. It probably does. A refined decision. Okay, so where's his view cone go? Should be fine. Yeah, it'd be easier to use her, but he's already in position. This will raise with your legs. So I'm just gonna be lazy. Okay. Good taste. And apart from this guy potentially seeing, you're right here. Never okay. look back. Well, no. Well, well. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Go right here. Save again. Yeah, I'm just gonna eliminate everybody. From here to there. 
There. And, yeah. Short and swift, I don't think we have too much to worry about. We just have this one guy. Oh. We have this one guy patrolling. Yeah, okay, that could have been, that could have been a little dicier. A little spicier. I like it Let's run over here. Strange. Alright, so what's this guy's view range look like? This guy's view range. Question. So he can see his friend. Preparation I'll be there soon. Balanced to perfection. One okay, so in that case, back. put our trap down. Uh, then we're going to you. whistle. But we're going to wait until this one guy is gone. Now. The fight begins. That was no mere animal. Come on, sir. We should have burned these weeds. Hmm? I'm going in. Raise with your legs. Okay, so that didn't work. Unfortunately, they take a while to. Oh, come on. This is my fault. I like it already. Well, that didn't work. I forgot to hit shift. And we can try again. Balanced to perfection. Fine. A refined decision. Hesitation. No second thoughts, eh? Heave ho! My galley is the battle. Raise with your legs. No, put him down. All right. Oh, you know what? Opportunity calls. Death is not defeat. Take a look at this. Shadow Blade. Preparing the ingredients. Get ready to strike. I might be able to lure this guy over. A good starter. A simple method of deception. Okay, we have to wait. I'm gonna try and lure him over to that trap. Because we can get him outside of that sight range. Just on this. And if he's not wandering hey, around. Hmm. Very traditional. Task. There we go. And all we have to do is boop. And he's no longer a problem. Oh, let's quick save. A memory for the Marley's horse. Like a juicy Perfect. Alright. Now these two are going to be. I'd say it's a bit of an issue, but I think I just need to kill them simultaneously. At your service. Hmm? Well, well. Quick save. This Your might be a little iffy. A sword through the heart. I wonder. Straight oh. to the point. <laughs> oh, that's so much nicer. There's no distance. I can use the telestab. It will be done. Strange. Oops. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, cancel that. Never look back. Death's not the end, eh? Oops. Don't do that. Okay, let's save. A fine blend and let's give it a shot. Is that? Because yeah, they're not going to spot me fast enough to be a problem. What? Let's get you somewhere else. Okay. So where am I going? I guess I'm taking the really long back way around. Really, I don't know. I just try and finish off as many people as possible so I don't have to worry about them if I ever take like an alternate, a bizarre alternate route. My soul is razor sharp. Let's okay. Soul. Let's just do that. Chuck him into the ocean. Alright, same deal. We've got one guy here, and then there's that enemy. Simple. Let's get moving, eh? Let's try a new right. recipe. So this guy's not gonna be able to see. I guess here's one yes. option. I know oh, sir. both glad it's sufficiently a heavy customer. Question. What happens if I do this? I was hoping the 
You know that counts. I think that body is sufficiently hidden. There's our kindred, and there's their research table. Together now, Navigator. Both kindreds must fall, or one will revive the other. On my way. Our part in the design. Okay, so the one issue is we have that lad. What do we have here? So we're gonna have to get in here and take this guy out first. I guess we got some options. Um, no, let's use her. I worry about our lady, my other. Yes, this hunt has now we're getting somewhere. Through the below, I stand ready. Freed. There we go. Your soul is free. I guess we did actually clear this area, this way out. Get you somewhere else. Oh well. This is just drop it there. Must re-examine the location. My okay, flame has been forged. With mind of the kindred together. You need to take out both simultaneously. They'll revive each other and trigger an alarm. Can be distract. Can be distracted, similar to acolytes. All right. Glad you have our backs. Yes. Perhaps a clue. Cut through the shadows. Okay. Have him do that. Or do that, and let's go. I'll be there soon. Raise with your legs. See you around for heave ho. Okay, so where can I toss this body? I'm always prepared. Eh, let's just toss him there. I kind of wish this game had like substantive ragdoll physics so the characters would bounce and like fall into the gaps. Can you up. can you not? I like these arms. You should be able to. Whee. Slice and dice. Alright, let's take a look in. at this. I don't think there's anybody left on the map. Ritual notations, corruption tables. Hard to find anything here. Let me take a look through your eyes. Oh, this feels different. There, a letter bearing Ignatius' signature. Hmm, listen to this. All pieces that fit the riddle's wording are to be sent to New Crockbury. My representatives there will be entrusted with the original text and will inspect all findings made. New no Crockbury, eh? I'd say we know where your captain's message went. Aye, Navigator. We must head there at once. Objective complete. All you right. two have done well. Now, return to me. I still remember our last visit to New Crockbury. The food was acceptable. The Inquisition has claimed it now. I doubt we'll do much sightseeing there. At least not the kind where we're noticed, eh? Yeah, I think we uh, eliminated everybody there. That Frankly, though, nice. works for me. This is really fun. The The character abilities have gotten better and better in every every game. And admittedly, like, it does make the game considerably easier. Okay. Uh, in my opinion. Uh, just because the more tools characters have and the more, like, kind of ridiculous ways you can use them, the more powerful it's going to be. But on the you flip know. side... From my perspective, I think that almost makes the game more interesting because then the enemies can be more more dynamic as well. Unfortunately, so many of them are limited to sight cones and ranges and whatnot. But like, whatever. I don't know. I I feel I feel very powerful right now, and I'm sure it's going to get harder. Uh, but my ability set is super satisfying, and I'm going to be able to improve my character's abilities as well, which sounds like it is going to have a lot of potential. Uh, hopefully, some of them have unlimited uses. Okay, finish the mission, cross the wooden bridge at the top. Uh, completed missions in Ballista Base. Uh, let's see. Find and kill all Minimi devs. 45. I wonder if there's one per mission then. So maybe there's 45 missions total in the game? Probably. Hide 750 bodies. Oh boy. Uh, take down a guard with Shadow Step while swimming. Neat. And then, of course, we have this sweet little kill map, which is always really satisfying. I'm so glad they have them. Just as kind of like a bonus. I'd love to see the developers try and tackle like a multiplayer with this as well. I don't think it would actually be worth it in the same way. Can we not kill the people here? 
Oh no, we crushed them. I guess it just didn't hide them for whatever reason. Oh well. Yeah, every, every single square inch of this game, it screams Pirates of the Caribbean, but the setting and the world and the characters and all that stuff just feels so much better to me. I really like it. Whew, that was something else. You have made it through in one piece. Good. I'm never quite sure with a new crew member. Uh-huh. All right, so I guess let's... Talk to the Always ship, and then I think we get another pirate, uh, another crew member, maybe. I hope we do. Looks like we can only bring three at a time. You have brought my crew back. Well done, both of you. I have ordered my skeletons to take them to their quarters. We must revive them soon, but we need more soul energy to start. Some port and source would be nice, eh? Some cursed trinket or the like. Aye. Perhaps we will find such a thing at New Crookbury. I'll set a course at once. Not yet, Navigator. There's something else I want you to look into. Five of Marley's crew assemble. Ignatius spoke those words to me, quoting from the captain's riddle. They have stirred something in me. You must speak to Estelle. Who? The monkey? Aye, she knows my insides better than me. Perhaps she'll know what to do. No second thoughts, eh? Let's see. Anything else? I mean, all sorts of stuff to kind of interact with, but eh. Estelle, I presume? <laughs> Sorry, I don't speak monkey. <laughs> all right, then. Five of Molly's crew assemble. Anything you can show me? I'll throw in a banana. <laughs> hey, wait for me. And now it's the tutorial for her for some reason. Probably not. No second thoughts, eh? I believe we have arrived. Can you hear me, Marley? Aye, but I can barely sense you. I'll be your eyes and ears. Well, well. An empty table and an ominous door. I'll be there soon. Hmm, a chained door. Three bowls on top, and no locks to pick. Five of Marley's crew assemble. Estelle? <laughs> Can you bring Toya down here? I'll make it two bananas. <laughs> Navigator, I have a crew to feed, and yet Estelle informs me that I must come down here. Apologies. You might be the key to this door. Explain. Five of Marley's crew assemble. I'd say that makes you part of the riddle. Sound logic. However, what would you suggest I do? Try something. Right, Preparation is key. Okay, let's do highlight. Ah, this table. We sealed our contracts here. A dagger for each of us. Hmm. You wouldn't have that dagger with you. Always. Let's reenact your signing. Move like water. Troya. Aye, here to reap the culinary plunder of land and sea, and discover the perfect recipes for the dead. I presume I did this correctly. Aye, it's clear then. Five chains for five crew. A sharp deduction. You took to this puzzle rather quickly. There's more to discover here. We'll see what Dancer's new crockbury holds. Yep, nope, just this game has immaculate vibes. Obviously, there's not a whole lot of, like, world exploration, Navigator. but it feels so good. We can now set sail to New Crockbury. Chart a course when you're ready. I was kind of hoping I'd Consider be able to get another crew done. member, 
a little early, but still. Oh, crew tails. Wait, you could what? You can start a crew tail. As maybe that's what this is? Crew tails. Each crewmate has their own optional crew tail on the Marley. In these tales, you'll learn more about their personality, role on the Marley, and relationships with other crewmates. You can complete one step on any of them. Okay, so where? I guess just interact with the Marley. Let's try a new recipe. Okay, can I Oh I can't can't quick save here. I report for duty, Marley. Good. The skeleton crew's diet has been thoroughly lacking in your absence. Have they eaten anything during that time? Mostly scraps and whatever they could catch themselves. No more. I will see that they are properly fed. Alright, so active crew Toya, check ingredients. This is just something I can poke around at. The dish takes shape. Alright, search. Rice, aubergines, and a sweet potato. Mm, not the most enticing ingredients for a voyage of soul pirates. The dish needs something that can replenish the skeleton crew's energy properly. Mm, I remember a fish that's been hanging next to the Mari for a very long time. It should have soaked up some soul energy. Mm, yes, that is precisely what the dish is lacking. Let me get it. Hmm, very traditional. That's a horrifying no. fish. Finally, after all this time, you notice me, Sensei. What? Who are you? I am an aspiring student, and are you not Toya of Iga, the renowned assassin of the East? That is my name, but I am not your Sensei. But I am on a dangerous mission, and I need someone who could teach me to become a ninja. Huh. How dangerous could the mission of a strung-up fish truly be? Oh, the mission is of great importance. There'd be a target on your back if you were to know, and a student cannot put his sensei in danger. <sighs> but you have that the wrong way. A sensei must never endanger his student. So you agree? Are my sensei. <laughs> I doubt any of my teachings would apply to a fish. But if you can steal a flintlock pistol from Mordecai's cabin, I will take you on as a student. Yes, sensei. Of course, sensei. I will try right away. A difficult task, especially for a strung up fish. Let me wait for now and see. Okay, can't complete another step during this visit. So it's effectively like a small little side tale. It's not an actual mission that I go on, but when I come back, this will have progressed. Well, that's really cool. I like that. This has so much, even more soul and heart than uh, than their previous games, and that feels so good to me. What is this one? Okay, every crewmate can unlock one upgrade. Only one. That's fair. Unfortunately, we don't have too much. Oh, okay. So actually, you can see the different characters' portraits. We've got here. This guy looks kind of wind-themed. No idea. He might be the canoness. Maybe? I don't know what the deal with this guy is. Treasure? Oh, he might be like a sake situation. Uh, blind sharpshooter is my bet. I don't know. What is... Katashiro, when using Shadow Step, the Katashiro won't disappear anymore. Instead, it moves to their previous position. But I don't have any Vigor Tokens. But that's really interesting and potentially incredibly useful. I don't know. I'm really excited for this game, and I can't wait to play more of it. It'll probably be off-camera, because long game is long, and I only have so much time. Um, but it'll be something I'd probably work on and, I don't know, maybe do a review at some point. Who knows? Uh, but as a longtime fan of... Minimi's work so far, this is nothing short of their best work, and honestly makes me super excited to see whatever uh, whatever they come up with next, because, like, if this is this good, what's their next game gonna be? And I hope they keep playing around with settings, too. It does seem like they go a little bit more on the kind of, like, 
uh, like a couple centuries ago vibes, but I'd love to see them tackle some other settings too. You know, add a little bit more fantasy to it. Even more fantasy, I guess. Or like a little bit of sci-fi. I don't know. Uh, but I like the fact that they're jumping around with settings and really toying with world building now. Uh, especially with that constellation magic. That's so cool. And I want to see more of that. But for now, at least, uh, Shadow Gambit, not Shadow Tactics, Shadow Gambit Cursed Crew is available on Steam as of today. It's 40 bucks normally down to uh, 36 at launch. Which might seem a little steep, but you are very much going to get your money's worth out of, like, playing through this entire game. Uh, even at full price. It's lengthy, it's hefty, there's all sorts of things to do. Uh, and all sorts of different ways to play, too. Like, side objectives and secret collectibles and uh, developers to slay and a bunch of other things. And it's that neat. And so if you've never played these games before, I highly recommend it. That said, uh, the previous games they've made are also on sale. So Shadow Gambit specifically... Uh, might only be 10%, but I believe Shadow Tactics is available for, like, not much at all. Uh, let me see. So Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun is 4 bucks. Uh, the DLC for it is an additional 7 and I don't know where Desperados lands on this one. Um, but so if this is interesting to you, but you don't want to buy it full price, check out Shadow Tactics. I loved that game. It is one of my favorite period piece, like, I think Edo Japan, Feudal Japan. Uh pieces of media I've ever consumed, and I highly recommend checking it out as well. Uh, but for now at least, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. With that, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.